world links if they had gotten out. Mm. That would have, I think that would have secured him the hold. It could, like, um, absolutely. Because not only would he have the uh, capability to get more banelings in the field, but uh, he would also have uh, just more fighting capability. With that being said, we have map number three to hop into, guys. So uh, here we are, one, two, three. There we go. Our mm -hmm. first player here in the top right. It is going to be B Lord. And his opponent in the southward position it is going to be none other than Reason, who right now just managed to tie things up. It is a 1 1 in this best out of five. Kind of like what we saw with uh, Katz and Odin. Yeah, it's. Uh Starting off very evenly. Nonetheless, uh, Katz did get that 3-1 win in our first series. You never know if we have a repetition of that or if, if, if this is going to go to the decisive game at number 5. Yeah, well, we'll see. I mean, it is they a CVC. Still, they can still pool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can still get those early pools, as, uh, for instance. But... Yeah, it's a CVC. We can see anything. I want to see anything and everything from these players. What I hate the most out of... Like, B-Lord? Well, oh, okay. I was like, ah, watching those minerals. <laughs> no. You, you were too. No, it's actually fine. The thing is... No, okay, reason? No, no, uh, that's fine. Uh, it's uh, fine. It's okay. 15 already. It's okay, 15. Yeah, because... Yeah, yeah, yeah settle still, down. Could have still been 14-14. But you get a gas first then. Oh, oh, yeah, that's actually true. It would have started quite long ago. But yeah, that's true. It's okay. A little disappointed there. <laughs> well, Beald goes for the hat, uh, the pull into gas. So this is not going to be your 14-14, but it's going to be something very interesting still. It's going to be very early speed, and it's still kind of economic. So you only cut out your hatch time by a little, and your mineral income by little. But your speed is so much quicker than usual. This can play into uh, some big aggression, I guess. That two uh, two hatch you talked about with the low zilings could absolutely happen. Like a f that's a very fluent transition from this kind of opening. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see if he we'll, we'll we'll see if he decides to peel guys off gas because that's a big tell. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you still mine gas afterwards, it means if you mine with two, it's usually baneling. Pressure slash all in mm -hmm. because the uh, two is kind of the perfect amount for like a half base saturation baning. Okay, all in. okay, pull them all off. So it's just speed, nothing to follow up with. I like those kind of kinds of builds. Wouldn't be too surprised to see a big link swell come out there. No, we'll if he wasn't supply blocked. If he wasn't supply blocked, uh, is it the twenty six overlord or the eighteen overlord that is like the bane of every zerg? To be honest, every overlord is the bane of every zag. <laughs> to me, it's always the uh, 27 pylon. Mm -hmm. I think the 28... Uh, the 28 pylon? I think the 28 uh, overlord Tra is the uh, the nuisance. The so 26 pylon. Uh, yeah, it's 26 pylon and 34... Yeah, 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 now I remember. Oh, I like this. This Ooh, is what I talked about earlier. about Yeah, the, the wall of two lings, queen. Yeah, th it's really good. Something that happens, though, is that if you don't normally do it, it kind of indicates... They were going to go for aggression, but now Reason didn't get to scout anything. Oh man, and this is a great setup for B-Lord. He's hiding those Zerglings in the main. And uh, I think this is going to catch his co opponent completely off guard. He spent all of his lava on Zerglings. And uh, he's already got an Overlord ready. No Baneling Nest has started it for Reason. He's got that speed on the way, but remember, look at that B-Lord speed done in 10 seconds. And that's going to be the moment of truth. He's even pulling a couple of drones. Uh, from the main, so he's going to even up that satur saturation, and here we go, the big reveal, the big tell. A ton of speedlings making their way across, and now Reason, he, he has nothing, he has a single queen, and that's it, he can't wall off that ramp. Yeah, this is not going to go all too well for Reason, I feel almost. Right now, Beal is just going to rush in with as many links as possible, kill off everything before the links pop here. Let's see how many he has. Right now, that's 34 links, that's just a ton. But it's all about the micro still. Remember, if they don't kill stuff enough, eh, quickly enough, we're going to see these uh, links of uh, recent slowly but surely kind of build up here. Yeah, and if once they get an even in numbers, things get very hard. But here we go. He's going to go right for this hatchery. Yeah, it's too much. Yeah, th this hatchery is definitely dead. 
And even more Zogni streaming across it. They're gonna start hitting the mineral line. There's nothing to defend these drones. They're completely naked. And now three drones dead. Four, five following very rapidly, and uh, actually be a nice peel over those two Zerglings to finish that hatch. I really like that cute little move, which is really important here. And now suddenly, b -Lord with Zerglings on both sides in the natural and in the main, going to be able to bring down this queen. He's going to stop trading here. He's actually getting overwhelmed, so he's going to be forced to pull back. But nonetheless, the damage has been done, and now b -Lord can fall back and start defending. Right now, though, Beal is const constantly making more links. Let's see if he makes any more. Yes, he does. Okay, so he just wants to trade here. He just wants to finish this game and just be done with it, kind of. Now, the thing is, Richard doesn't have too much at home. He only has a queen to add to the DPS. And with speedings, you don't really get that much of a, like, defender's advantage. Now, Beal goes back into workers. But with that, of course, second hatchery, he's completely fine to do so. Yeah, but the big important part, part is going to be, though, the Bailing Nest is going to finish here for a reason, and that's when he can start applying some... If he, if he can sort of push b -Lord back to his side of the map, that's when he can start applying counter pressure with the help of those Banes, and b -Lord is not going to have any sort of tech follow-up for this, no Roaches, no Bailings. So if Reason manages to get out of this soft containment by the ramp, b -Lord is going to be in a lot of trouble, but right now he's doing an excellent job in keeping his opponent back, because he's just slowly rallying additional Lings over constantly while he's starting to pull ahead in those workers. So right now, both uh, players are trying to get the perfect concave with the Zerglings. It's actually a pretty big deal at this oh, point. Oh, the Bailings, the Bailings! They're, they're actually not in vision here! And there we oh. go! Every single Zerling goes down here for b -Lord, and suddenly he's at zero army supply. He's remaking these links now. 10, 14 on the way. He has that spine, but right now, b -Lord will have to hold this ramp. There's a gap right now that he needs to be filling. Second Queen makes her way over. Will it be able to block off in time? That's the question. Just in time, and that spike one is has a really long range to be honest. But well, it's just going to be out here by a bit of time. Did that Baneling Nest finish? No, there's no Bane for B Lord. Then he's going to lose one of the first. The first queen does go down. Oh, Ooh, nice actually peels off a few Zerglings there, so it could have been a lot worse. Gets the second one, but right now he's been oh, not the good peel from B Lord. This spine though is getting completely surrounded now. Two Banelings making their way in into the main mineral line. How much damage can they get down here? The Queen has fallen, and B Lord has no units at this point, Alex. Not a single unit to fight with. This 22 links in production. The, the thing is, at this point, you kind of don't want to use your Banelings. Well, you use one at least, but you want to use them for the uh, links, and more Banelings are made. So you just want to buy time to de deal as much damage as possible. 13 workers did go down. Beal down to 10 drones only and losing some heavy amounts of links. Forced him to constantly make more and more Zerglings. The second wave of recent is on its way and a constant link production behind this right now. Yeah, and still, he's, my, he's got some gas banked up, so he can make four more Banelings with this, which is very important. b -Lord actually uh, loses an Overlord in the main there of his opponent, trying to go for a bit of a counter swing here as he starts adding in additional drones. But it's going to be so hard, because fighting Banelings without Banelings of your own, it's just such a hard trade to take. And I think b -Lord actually is uh, he's slowly but surely dying in this game right now. I have to agree at this point. It's like reason. bleeding out. He, he is. And it, it all comes down to that, that Bayness. That he never added it and he never decided to kind of transition into it. He was way too greedy behind this build. And he didn't think that Reason would uh, try to kind of just hit, punch him right back. And, well, you can never defend this with just pure drones. Going to just try to buy time and see what we can accomplish in the base of Reason. But remember, one or two Banes would absolutely deter this. And Reason knows that. He's just going to kill everything in the base of B Lord. And I find no way for. Our red desire to survive this. No, he's, he's getting absolutely decimated. And uh, that's going to be it. Which means that uh, Reason is going to get that 2-1 advantage here in Copa America. Here in our second series of Group A. Or uh, rather the upper bracket. So, uh, that was like uh, B-Lord played... Had a great opening stage, but those Banelings that came down the top of that ramp, he had 